Hello gorgeous people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. In this video, I am going to show you the amazing Eric the Flute Maker Arabian Penny Whistle. Now, as you can see, this uh, whistle actually comes in this awesome little case. This whistle is actually made from carbon fiber. It's the first carbon fiber whistle I've tried. It's in the Arabian key. So however you play this penny whistle, you'll have that amazing Arabian sound to whatever improvisation you come up with. If you watch Eric's YouTube video, which I will link in the description below and I'll also put up here, you'll see his video on this amazing little instrument and he advises to go up and down the scale to really get the most of the sort of Arabian key, so to speak. So uh, yeah, I'll zoom in to give you some close-ups and then I'll give you guys a whirl on this awesome little thing. So as you can see on the mouthpiece here, we do have a standard tin whistle looking mouthpiece. It's actually shaped a little bit like a Susato whistle. This is a plastic mouthpiece or resin, I imagine, and um, it's very comfortable in the mouth. It's got a nice strong blade here and it gives this Arabian penny whistle a nice bit of volume. As we come down into the body, you'll see this is the carbon fiber section of the Arabian penny whistle. It's got this amazing sort of pattern to it and it also has um, an engraving on the back here. Hopefully you guys can see that. It says Eric and the year of manufacture and this one is from 2016. Now looking at the bore of the whistle, it appears to be a straight bore whistle, not particularly wide, although as you can see the carbon fiber here is a nice thick edge and that gives um, a beautiful tone to this little flute. As you look at the finger holes here, you'll see mainly five finger holes as opposed to the usual uh, six finger holes on a tin whistle and a little further down you'll see the sixth finger hole. So um, again they're different sizes here like you'd have on a normal tin whistle so you can half hole if you want to but the idea mainly on this is to play up and down the Arabian scale as the holes are provided and as the notes come on this whistle. Now to play this little whistle you do need the first, second and third fingers of your top hand and the first, second and fourth pinky finger of your bottom hand. This is actually um, a right-handed flute. I presume you can also get left-handed flutes if you play with your left hand on the bottom, but the uh, pinky hole is actually offset, so if you were to play this the other way around you would struggle to reach that. Um, you could probably play if you have large hands with your third finger, but I would recommend contacting Eric and asking for a left-handed version if you play with your left hand on the bottom as this little hole at the bottom is offset for right hands. So you're basically, um, your sort of ring finger here has nothing to do in this space, but you can lift it up at the same time as you lift your pinky finger in order to get the same effect.
So, as you can hear, this is an incredible little instrument. It really does give that Arabian vibe every time you play.、Um, if you wanted to try something different like this to bring a little bit of a different feel to your improvisations, then I can definitely recommend this. I wouldn't obviously recommend this if you do want to play Irish music or anything like that, because this is. It does have a theme to it. It does have its own voice and its own sound for a particular purpose. So,、uh, yeah, head over to Eric the Flute Maker's website and check these out. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. You'll find、um, current pricing details, availability, and all sorts of other Eric the Flute Maker flutes on that website as well. I hope you enjoyed this.、Um, if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit the bell notification down below if you haven't already. If you haven't, why haven't you?、Um, also, guys, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook where I post. Uh, a lot of cool things alongside my YouTube videos. You can also follow me on Coffee and Patreon. Check out some of my other interesting instruments here on YouTube. And until next time, happy whistling. I'll see you guys soon. Leave me your requests in the comments too. <laughs> happy whistling. Bye. In the Arabian key. So, however you play this. Arabian penny whistle, you'll have that amazing Arabian sound to whatever improvisation you come up with. This is a carbony, or a carbon, or a carbony, or a carbon. Ta da! I could do with like a, a drum roll or a, a, some fireworks or something. <laughs> Closer! Um, uh, um, um. So, um, 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 and um. So, uh, um. So, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna need to take that off. Yes, it's the answer. I wish I could play it. Boiling. Sort of Arabian edge or anything. If you are looking to, yeah. Oh, oh no, that's me. <laughs>